Hello my friends, it's Hannah Eve and you're watching Eve Believe Beauty. Today I'm going to do the YouTube made me buy it tag or YouTube made me do it or whatever it's called. Um, I've been seeing a lot of these videos floating around and they're super fun and yeah because well, YouTube has um, influenced me to buy a lot of stuff <laughs> um, which I'm kind of embarrassed about but yeah so I have a lot of products so I'm going to try and go through this as fast as I can. Um, <clears throat> if I don't fully explain something you want to know more, um, leave a comment in the, se the comment section and I will get back to all your guys' questions and comments. <clears throat> so, yeah. So first I'm going to talk about a few products that I know for sure I remember who recommended them to me. And then after that I'm going to talk about the ones that I can't remember who did it, or who um, told me to buy it, or not told me to, but who inspired me to buy those products. Um, or if just everybody on YouTube kind of inspired me to. So the first um, two products... Um, one of the first, very first YouTubers that I watched was Mischievous or Julia Graff, and I just love, love her videos. I love her style. She's an amazing makeup artist, super fun to watch, and um, I was watching her nail care video, and she inspired me to buy two products. <laughs> the first one is the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover, and, um, and this is the Maximum Strength one, and because I tend to have really gross cuticles. This is a pretty good product. I've, as you can see, I've had it for a while and I still haven't used very much of it. I mean, you don't need a lot, but um, I just don't, I never remember to use this, I don't think, and it's not, it's not like a saving grace in my nail care routine, so it's okay, but I don't think I would buy it again just because I don't really need it, you know? Okay, the next thing is Sege Vite Top Coat, the Fast Running Top Coat. Now this, I am so thank you, thank you Julia for telling me about this product because this is my holy grail. Um, without this product I don't think that I would have gotten into nail art or nail polish as much as I nearly have without this product. It is just, oh this is so amazing. It's um, it's kind of a gloopy thing so if you don't like messing with that um, then you know you might not like this but it's, I love this just because my nails can still be wet. I put this on top and it drives it all, it drives it all the way through. Like it drives it down to the base coat. So even it, it it's just, ugh, <laughs> it's just amazing. And it has a super soft brush as well which helps a lot for um, like when I do stamping, nail stamping um, and stuff like that you need like a really soft brush to make sure that you're not pulling off any of the stamping design. So yeah, I love, love, love this. Holy grail. Okay, the next thing, the next few things, um, I was inspired <laughs> by 11th Gorgeous, and they were probably like the second people that I started watching on YouTube. Love their videos, I think they're super fun, um, they're just really entertaining to watch. So, anyways, um, the first thing is Pumpkin Cupcake Candle. Now, I probably would have figured it out without their, them telling me about this product but I just love pumpkin scents in general and they said oh this pumpkin cupcake smell is amazing and they are right it is amazing <laughs> and I just after seeing their videos I had to run out and go smell it and then of course I had to buy it because it was just amazing fall scent okay moving right along the next thing is the essence match to cover cream concealer and I actually haven't tried this yet because I like just got it like two days ago or something like that, <laughs> but they, um, specifically Tracy of 11th Gorgeous, she talks about this concealer a lot, and yeah, I'm kind of excited to try it. I think it was only like two dollars, so yeah. Um, the next thing is this Revlon lipstick, and this is in the color Coral Berry. Oh, I'm so in love with this color. Tracy was wearing this in one of their summer videos a while ago, and, um, somebody had commented on there, what's the lipstick, what is it, what is it? So they kind of, in another video after that, they kind of talked about it, but I am so in love with this color. I love the way it look on her, and I put it on myself, and I just love the way it looks on me. It's not like a bright, bam, you're wearing orange on your lips. It's just a very soft, pretty, lovely color. And then the next thing, both Tracy and Stephanie have raved about, and this is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. I'm sure you guys have all heard about. This is by far my favorite mascara that I've ever, ever tried. I'm so in love with it, and I'm so sad because mine is pretty much dried up and dead. Might have to get a new one, but they got the curved brush. Super love it. It's a good formula. It's not too wet, not too dry, and yeah, that's pretty much it for that. 
All right, and then the next YouTuber, which I love, she's probably one of my favorite YouTubers, um, is Miss Holly Berries. And I will also, I'll have all of the channels that I talk about, I'll have them all listed down below, but Miss Holly Berries is, yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> um, she has inspired me to buy this which is, this is the Sephora by OPI Traffic Stopper Copper, and it's, I don't think that you guys will be able to find, I mean, maybe you'll be able to find it, I know that they discontinued this line, so it might be kind of hard to find, but this is just like the perfect, perfect copper glitter color, and I love the combinations that she, um, she showed a few in one of her videos, the different combinations that she does with this polish. Oh, I so, so love it. Thank you, Holly, for um, inspiring me to get that. And then the next thing is this Maybelline Color Tattoo. Um, and this one is in, is in the color Inked in Pink. I think it was a Get Ready With Me video that she talked about this, but she kind of just did this as an um, all-over-the-eye color and then did very... Oh, my cat is jumping on my lap. This is Maggie, by the way. Yeah, she doesn't want to be here. Anyways... <laughs> So yeah, um, this is inked in pink, and I think she did it in like a get ready with me video, and she, it was just all over the lid color, and very simple, you know, mascara, eyeliner, out the door kind of thing. And that's exactly what I think this color is. It's just so pretty, it gives that metallic shimmer, but it's not plain, you know, you get a little bit of that girly pink prettiness, and I love that. I would repurchase. And then the next one is um, Plasma Speedo, and she is amazing. I'm sure um, a lot of you nail people out there know who she is, but um, she hasn't been uploading as much because she's in the Navy, but she inspired me to buy many, many of those nail polishes, but <laughs> too many <laughs> um, to put in this video. But one thing that I really, that stands out, is this nail strengthener called Hard as Hoof, and this she put in her nail care um, routine video, um, just what she does to make her nails looking great, and I have really, really, really brittle, soft, peeling nails, and this stuff works amazing. The only thing is it's hard to remember to put it on. <laughs> That's the only problem I have with it, because I'm always, like, you know, putting a new manicure on, taking one off, so it is kind of hard to remember to wear this, like, overnight and stuff, but it is amazing stuff. It was super cheap. I think it was, like, three dollars, and I got it at Walmart. Amazing stuff. I would repurchase, and she's an amazing YouTuber. Okay, the next um, products are ones that either everybody talked about or I can't remember who exactly recommended them to me. But the first thing is this, another Bath & Body Works candle, and this is in the scent Leaves. And maybe, I think, maybe it was Andrea Matalano? I think maybe? Or maybe a bunch of people, I don't know. But this is a pretty nice scent. It's not normally one that I would... Um, choose but it's just really nice it's kind of it smells like cider and like um, fall leaves and maybe some cinnamon or something I don't know it's a really nice scent though I probably would repurchase and yeah I think a lot of people on YouTube have been talking about that okay this next one is out the door so it seems like there's a debate out in the YouTube world and it's Sejvit versus out the door I'm just gonna tell you right now I am totally team Sejvit this sucks I'm just, I'm not gonna lie. I know some people love it, some people swear by it, but I hate this stuff. It's not, it doesn't dry nearly as fast as Sege Vite, and it doesn't dry all the way through. So the other day I had an amazing manicure on, and I was like, oh, I need to use up some of my top coats that aren't Sege Vite, because I've got a, a, quite a few. And so I put this on, and I seriously sat around waiting for it to dry for like half an hour, and it still was still a little bit tacky, and I was like, forget it, I gotta go throughout my day. So, literally within like an hour, I had like all of the nail polish had peeled off or like com like totally smudged off my nails because this stuff is crap. It did not dry my nail polish. It's not a fast drying top coat. It doesn't give you the glassy shine that Sejvit does and ugh. Anyways, sorry about that rant. I don't like this and I, yeah, I don't remember who recommended it to me, but I am not team out the door. I am team Sejvit. Anyways, <laughs> and then these next two colors, oh wow, they're really bright. Um, <laughs> these, I, again, I can't remember who recommended them to me, or pretty, probably this summer it was pretty much everybody, and I know for a fact that Miss Holly Berry says at least mentioned this color, but this is um, China Glaze Pool Party. This is such an amazing color. It is the perfect, I think I've talked about this before, but the perfect, perfect pink coral neon color, and I mean the formula kind of, eh, 
it's okay. It could be better, but the color just totally saves it for me. So I would repurchase because it's just amazing. And I'm pretty sure that everybody has talked about this this summer. And this is Orly's Melt Your Popsicle. I love this color. This one, the formula is, uh, meh. it's kind of like a jelly, if you guys can see that. It's kind of a jelly, so it's easier if you layer it over white, but you have to do quite a few coats to get it opaque. But it is still such an amazing color. It's kind of hard to find a neon like that. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to hurry it up. I don't want this video to be like 10 million years long. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that I have to talk about are the Maybelline Color Whispers. I don't know if I got the wrong colors, because I didn't really see anybody recommend a particular type of color to me, or if it's just the formula in general that I don't like, but these were horrible. <laughs> I have Mad for Magenta and oh, Ola Lilac. These were just patchy. They like kind of made my lips feel like grainy. The color payoff was, I mean, I know it's called a color whisper, but it just was like, yeah, it just gave me like a sh really sheer but patchy kind of look, and I don't like these. I know that some people really love them. I probably just got some wrong colors here. I don't know. I don't like these. Wouldn't repurchase those colors at least. I might be willing to try some of the other colors in the line. Okay, the next thing I'm pretty sure everybody in their dog has heard about and that's the Urban Decay Naked Palette. YouTube totally made me buy this. I am not a high-end makeup kind of girl. I am hardly a makeup kind of girl honestly. I'm nails. <laughs> but this just everybody 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 talked about this and yes the colors are be beautiful and yes they're really high quality and really buttery but I don't find myself reaching for this as much as I should because I paid $50 for it you know like I really should use it more than I do but everybody else seems to love it and it's good it's you know it's high quality it's good stuff so if you like neutral shades then you know totally this is probably for you um I just I don't know I guess I tend to jump like go for more bold colors so I don't know maybe in the winter I'll pull for this more I probably would repurchase just because it's so high quality but the colors I just wish were a little bit better anyways Everybody and their dog knows about this product too, and this is another Maybelline Color Show, or Maybelline Color Tattoo, sorry, <laughs> and this is um, Barely Branded. Everybody, everybody has been using this as a um, base color for their eyeshadow. It works really good for that. Um, I'm wearing it today under some other sparkly shadows, but yeah, it's, it works really well. It, although it does crease on me, but everything seems to crease on me. I haven't found anything that doesn't crease on me, but... I still love it. It still works really well. I would repurchase. Okay, the next things, I can't remember who told me to get these, but these are the Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadows. I am so in love with these guys, and I know that they didn't get a whole lot of, they didn't get a lot of airtime on YouTube, but I think that there's something special about these, okay? I have the colors, this is Space Cowboy, and this one is Moon Spoon. These are just amazing. Um, I mean, I guess if you don't like glitter, then don't go for these, but I love glitter. I am wearing both of these colors, mostly just the Space Cowboy, but they just give like, it's like grown-up glitter, you know? It's like, it doesn't look tacky, but it still gives you that fun pop, and love these, love these. Definitely check them out. Okay, um, this has been on my wish list for a while, and I just recently got it, and I'm so excited that I did, and that's Butter London's Wallace. I can't remember who told me about this. I think maybe Plasma Speedo might have been like the first, maybe. But I've just heard so many people talk about this because it's kind of like that ugly pretty. It's like a cult favorite, you know? Everybody loves this shade because it's weird. <laughs> and I'm jumping on the bandwagon. I love this and I probably wouldn't have gotten it if I hadn't heard about it on YouTube. So yes, YouTube made me buy this one. Okay, my very last thing isn't really a specific product, but it is a company, and that is Ipsy. If I hadn't watched YouTube videos, then I would probably not know about Ipsy, and Ipsy is like my favorite, one of my favorite things in the world now. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, um, it is a $10 a month subscription service, and they give you a usually about five full-size um, beauty products every month. Love them. And you get these cute little purses. This was... Um, I think that, yeah, I think this was September's bag, was it? 
I don't know. Maybe it was August bag. But I super love these. They're like, I think these bags are really high quality. And every month I'm just so excited. When is my Ipsy bag coming? When is it coming? And super love the company. And yeah. Anyways, um, I have my Ipsy code referral link down in the description bar if you're interested in checking that out. And I will try and link as many of these products as I can. Um, and I will also link the YouTubers that I talked about. And yeah. Why don't you guys tell me, what did YouTube make you buy? Did I influence you to buy anything? Because that would be kind of interesting to see <laughs> if I've done anything like that for you guys. But yeah, so have a good day, guys, and I love you. Bye!